So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. And this is other Ryan here. And today we once again have another interesting video for you all. Yes, now this one is actually talking about the text more specifically on Night 6 of Five Nights at Freddy's 4 in the minigame. There was a lot of text in this little scene and us ourselves were very confused with who it belongs to. We thought it was Fredbear, but there's actually multiple people talking within this scene. Yes, and it seems like the minigames actually have more story to them than we first thought. And there's been a lot of people in the comments section asking us to also give our own two cents on this whole thing. Because what it appears to be is throughout all of the minigames in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, when the text or dialogue appears on screen, it will actually be associated with different colours and we can connect this coloured text to be with specific characters. Yes, so at night six, uh, the first person we're introduced to is the brother, obviously because he was involved with you being killed pretty much or being yes. dipped. Yes, yes. He's saying, sorry, and that is a dark grey text. Yeah, and that seems to be very unique to the brother of this child throughout all yeah. of the nights. And something which actually backs this up also is the colour of his actual shirt. It's also the same greyish colour. And um, yeah. there's another key character who does a lot of speaking and is associated with this yellow colour. But just before we get onto that, there's been a little bit of confusion as to who this text actually belongs to. Yes, yeah, so on night three, we go out of the establishment and back home where we are then jump scared by our brother under the bed again. But yes. before we actually get there, we're introduced to many characters and yes. one of them being a girl who basically says they hide your bodies in the animatronic suits and don't tell anyone and this text is actually yellow. Yes, it's got a yellowish uh, kind of tint to it all. Very yeah. similar to what we see on all of the other nights when we have this yellow text appearing. But for me personally, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to see that this yellow girl is actually being the messenger for this child because we only actually see her once throughout all of the nights where we're able to uh, traverse around the establishments and also outside. And it's this one association. While she actually tells us some quite crucial information, I don't actually think this little girl has this yellow text unique to her. I think it's actually more unique to the Fredbear plushie who we actually see in all of the other mini games because as of night one, we see this colored text and we can definitely associate it to be with the Fredbear plushie because we actually see him active because we see his eyes moving. Yes, and also backing this up is the fact that in night five, we don't actually see this girl within the group. It's, it, seems, yes. it appears to be a group of boys. Now, I could be yes. wrong, but... But from what I am seeing, it just appears to be a group of boys, pretty much. Yeah, and I think a more important thing we should actually address is because this text is actually coloured to different things, we should really speak about the colour of the yellow text in association to this Fredbear plushie. So it will appear this kid seems to have some kind of telepathic communication with this Fredbear plushie. I mean, to begin with, the eyes are actually illuminated and he's able to actually speak to this kid. And throughout some of the nights as well, he seems to almost act as like a messenger for this child. He almost sees the same things that this child does and he will almost warn him of of dangers that may be lying ahead. The actual plushie will warn us to not go that way and he'll actually make remarks like, don't you remember what you saw that way? And when we actually have to pass them, he'll say things like, you have to be strong. Yes, and it just makes you think, I think we've said this in a previous video, there must be some kind of connection between the child and these animatronics. Yes. Like, he can see them in a certain way that other people can't. And the fact yeah. that this Fred Bear is actually talking to us, it just makes you think, how is he actually conversing with us? Like, we could just say that it's a child's imagination and it's his imaginary friend talking yes, to him. Yes, yes, yes. Or we could also say that maybe it's the puppet possessing this little plush bear to yes. speak to him because we see if we look at the plush bear that he has white distinct eyes. Yes, and we have to also associate this with one main character who actually has this ability and that is of course the puppet. Now, something unique about this puppet's design is that in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, he actually has the distinct red cheeks, or should I say the circular patterns on the cheeks, which are actually unique to the toy animatronics design. So this could actually mean that prior to the toy animatronics creation, he may have actually manifested himself within the Fredbear plushie. And another thing we have to remember is that it's a bit strange how the uh, the puppet has this different build design, but all of these other toy animatronics are animatronics. So why would they just not make a whole host of animatronics rather than all of a sudden giving this puppet character unique features? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense in honesty. Exactly, and another thing as well we have to remember, of course, is that because it is the puppet, and it seems like it has nothing within it, and also the fact that it can float around the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 establishment willingly, it shows that there's some kind of possession going on here. It's not like the animatronic suits with the endoskeletons actually operating them. There's something deeper going on here. Definitely. And there we have it, guys. So hopefully you did enjoy this discussion. Be sure to comment down below any of your thoughts in regards to the topics discussed. Yes, and if you guys did enjoy this video, why not leave a like rating down below? And if you're new to this channel, why not subscribe for more interesting videos like this and also some gameplays. So thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And we'll, of course, see you on the next one. Goodbye, guys.